You know, when we, we finally got to meet Logan, and uh, honestly, I, I knew from the very beginning, just seeing the connection that you two had, that it was going to be something special. Brianna, when I first saw you, I was speechless. When we would work together, I would get butterflies like crazy. <laughs> and once we started talking, I knew you were the one I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. When we would go on our dates, I would be so nervous to talk to you and get to know you, but the second I would get home, I would think of the next time I could see you. Once I found out you played video games, I truly knew <laughs> you were the one for me. And once I got down on one knee to propose to you, there were so many things I wanted to say, but all I could say was hi. <laughs> and, and stare awkwardly at you until you said yes. But this is what I truly wanted to say. You are my soulmate, my best friend. <laughs> There's nothing I wouldn't do in this world to keep you happy and safe. I couldn't wait to see what life brings us and how great a mother you will be to our kids someday. I love you more than anything in life itself and I'm proud to become your husband. Logan, when I think about the first time we met as coworkers back in the summer of 2015, my immediate thoughts about you are of a very shy, handsome, and hardworking person. I couldn't take my eyes off of you, even when you caught me staring, <laughs> and I haven't been able to ever since. I'll never forget the amount of times I told my parents how cute you are, how much you looked like Justin Bieber, <laughs> and how we would make them the absolute cutest grandkids. Fast forward to seven years later, and I'm so incredibly proud to be marrying the person you are today. I love looking back on the memories we've shared together and get excited thinking about the ones that are yet to come. My favorite things about you are that you are so incredibly humble and you always make me feel safe. You strive to make me laugh every single day, so much so that you say your goal in life is to make me pee my pants, <laughs> which I can embarrassingly admit you have successfully done twice now. You are the most forgiving and kind person I've ever met and you never let me forget how beautiful and amazing you think I am. You're a hard worker, you always try your best, and you're constantly trying to better yourself to create a stable future so you don't get stuck in your past. I know on that fact alone, you're going to make an amazing father to our children someday. I love your patience, your passion, and I love your heart. Above all else, I love that I can say with confidence you make me so happy. You love me and complete me in ways I never knew possible. Logan, I chose you during that summer of 2015. I choose you today, and I will continue choosing you as my husband forever. I love you. And now, by the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, and by the state of Arizona, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Logan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> The two things I always want for my kids, I've always wanted for my kids. First is that they're happy, okay? And two is that they find somebody to share that happiness with. So Logan, thank you for taking care of both of those for me. I really appreciate that, thank you. But honestly, I, I really think you two are such a wonderful couple, um, such good partners. The first time that I met Logan, I could tell how crazy he was about her, how much he loves and respects her. Um, and as a best friend, I appreciate that and I love you too. These guys here, these are some of the most genuine, caring people that you will ever meet. They are generous, they are adventurous, um, you know, they have a great sense of humor. They, they do know how to party. Congratulations guys, we love you. We're so excited for you, all right?